Tom Blanchard here with another episode of Thursdays with Tom where I provide you with some helpful nuggets to keep those juices flowing and put more money into your pocket. Today we're on episode 15 of our Ninja Nugget series, Building Relationships. Ninja selling is relationship selling. It's based on the belief that people prefer to buy from someone that they know, like, trust, and are in flow and in contact with. All four of the following elements are essential for relationship-based selling. Customers may know you, but not like you. They may know and like, but not trust you. They may know, like, and trust you, but you're not in flow or contact with them. If they are in flow or contact with someone else, that they know, like, and trust, they will buy from them, not you. You must be in all four of these areas to be a successful relationship seller. So let's break these down. Let's start with no, right? You know, you're either visible or you are invisible. You decide. People need to see you to get to know you. I have never met a successful salesperson who is a hermit. You cannot expect to be able to sit in your house watching TV all the time and remain top of mind with your customers. It's just not gonna happen. Being top of mind is crucial with your database. So when someone in your database is asked to refer someone that can help them in their real estate, they have your name at the tip of their tongue. Now, for this to happen consistently, they need to know three things. Who you are, what you do, and where you do it, right? <laughs> this seems simple, and it, it is. Yet many salespeople take it for granted and fail to cover the basics. What's important is that your friends and customers think of you first for their real estate needs. Now, for like. Generally, people are drawn to a likable, relaxed, non-anxious presence that makes them feel good just by being around them. Likable people tend to be positive. They have a positive outlook on life and emanate a positive vibe, right? <laughs> they are genuine, comfortable, with themselves and not trying to be someone they're not. Confident, not cocky, and express genuine interest in others. I care about you. You cannot be a loud mouth jerk on the sidelines of your son's soccer game one day and be Mr. Nicey Nice the next. Your ability to demonstrate emotional maturity is a key to being liked. Don't be that guy or that person. So let's move on to trust. There are four keys to trust. Character, competence, capacity, and consistency. All right, the four things. Character, well, with character they are looking to answer the question, can I count on you? We trust people that do what they say, deliver on what they promise, and keep their commitment. Competence. Do you know what you are doing? That's the question. You may be the nicest, most honest person in the world, but are you also competent? Do you demonstrate mastery in the field you've chosen? Customers want someone who has character, but also can deliver the goods. Capacity. Do you have the time and resources to solve the problem that they have? How do customers feel when they hear their realtor talk about being busy and overwhelmed? Be careful not to make yourself look so busy that you appear not to have the capacity to help them with their problem. Don't be flying to Jamaica every single weekend. So, consistency. Are you consistent in your look and behavior? Consistency 
is key to trust and also referrals, especially when it comes to look and demeanor. <laughs> if your behavior is volatile or you continually change your dress or hairstyle, your customers begin to wonder, what's going on with you? Why do you have pink, green, yellow hair? You know, they want to trust you. They're looking for someone who is rock solid. Be that rock solid realtor for them. Consistency is the key to referrals because people refer a person if they believe it will make them look good. That's true of recommendations for restaurants, books, movies, and realtors. No one has referred someone that might make them look bad. They will only refer salespeople with a consistent, likable personality who can deliver consistent results. Well, that's all we have time for this session. Next time we will be getting into flow. Bet you're wondering what that is, right? I can tell you this, I'm not talking about the character in the old Palmolive dish soap commercial. If you're too young to understand that joke, just Google it, all right? We'll see you next week. Bye.